Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, Explosive One Jonas, uh, we are doing a podcast, TNT Dino, and my GHD, what's up? Oh, you know, dude. I'm going to date this. You're going to date? It is our Independence Day today. <laughs> We're recording this on the 4th of July. Proud to be an American. Oh, my God. Oh, no, I'm just being goofy. <laughs> but, yeah, dude, uh, you know, it's, it's Americana out there today. Yeah, okay. It's hot. For sure. It's dirty. What, is, what does America mean to you, Jonas? It means that. A cis white male <laughs> that you are. What does it mean to you? <laughs> America's land opportunity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it is. <laughs> um, yeah, man, it's a it's a world out there, man. Yeah, it's cool. It's a you know we're we're basically halfway through 2020 now. Yeah. So you know we we have we're halfway. Oh, oh, it's fucked. There's no there's no salvaging this year. You know, I was joking back in um, March <laughs> about. Oh man, 2020 is a lost. No, 2020 is a lost year. It's so effed up that we forget that those Australian wildfires that literally destroyed like half of their country yeah, were in February. That happened. That happened this year. Yeah. We thought we were going to go to World War Three with Iran in January. Yep. Yep. All of that happened. Yeah. That and people are like, people are like, every, if you told that to somebody, they're probably like, wow, those wildfires. That was this year. <laughs> like. A lot has happened since then. Like, we were getting money together for them in fucking Hong Kong. Yeah, the protests in Hong Kong have been going on for months before that. That shit happened this year. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was from last year and into this year. Yeah. That seems so far away now. Uh, yeah, so does it when people took the coronavirus serious. That yeah. seems so far away. <laughs> that was also so <laughs> that was long so ago. Long ago. <laughs> that was also so long we ago. We got to still well. take it seriously? Are you kidding me? Yeah, right? Like, did, uh, they're all just like, okay, did, I've decided I'm over and with Did this. you hear about the new swine flu, Jonas? Oh, I did. I did. The fucking, what is it? The G4 EA H1N1? Yeah, yeah. It's another, uh, well, yeah, but but I think right now everybody's senses are heightened because there's been, <laughs> because, because yeah. you know, there's been many swine flus and things like that that yeah. have hit other countries that have not become pandemics. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it never stops, man. The earth is trying to get rid of us, fam. Yeah. The earth is the like heat, get the, the fuck off of my back. The uh the global warming. Yeah. The raising the temperature to try to eradicate yeah eradicate the Yeah, well what happens what happens to our body when we get a virus? We create antibodies. And raise our temperature. This is these are the Earth's anti antibodies. The Earth is like, get off of me, Corona. Yeah, like the coronavirus isn't isn't a virus per se. It's it's the Earth's antibody it's the system. The Earth's T cells fucking us up because we're AIDS. <laughs> wow, but you know it's kind of crazy. It's like if like. If you think of the Earth as like a sentient being, which I kind of do, it's living. right. It's a living planet. You know, it has living things. You know that it's it's literally like we are a foreign virus on its surface, and it's raising its heat. It's putting out antibodies, and like exactly, one we're living planets. We're just groups of cells, right? And there's like parasites that live in us on us naturally and there's right. there's good things that live on us naturally and yeah. flora inside our stomachs that break down similar to like the earth's core that breaks down it's there's a it's the same thing so the earth is like you guys are killing me so i'm gonna create something. right right essentially like yeah because like we have all sorts of vi viruses and bacteria in us all the time yeah but some of them make us ill. Some of us have some of them serve a purpose, and some of them do nothing. Yeah. So if we're just here chilling, doing our thing, and not causing any problems, they're just like, yeah. "Hey, man, you're here, whatever. It's all good." But then there's like, "Man, I'm getting kind of tired, dude. I've been drowsy lately." It's the circle of life, Jonas. Circle yeah. of life, man. Circle of life. Am I going first today? You going first? Uh, well, thank you everybody for joining us on the Crazy Town Podcast yeah, you're today. Here. If uh. If uh, you are uh, following us on YouTube, please subscribe, Crazy Town Media, yeah, uh, so SoundCloud, Spotify, iTunes, Crazy Town Podcast. Follow us there. This guy's on Twitch. TNT Dynamite on Twitch every single day at 9 a.m., 10 a.m. Central. That's TNT, D-I-N-O-M-I-D-H-D underscore Crazy Town. Sweat all over my neck. Get your morning started out right with some dynamite in your life. Yeah. <laughs> 
what? The, the people sweat. listen to the podcast may have no idea why you're talking about the sweat on your neck. <laughs> the sweat on my neck is from when Jonas brought up a MC Hammer, an MC Hammer song. <laughs> yeah, and I, and I think it's like, like sweat, sweat all over my all chest. My but whatever, sweat dude. all over my chest. Whatever, neck, it don't matter. Yeah, sweat all over my fill in blank. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you fill in my blanks. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, that's that's a uh, good. But uh, yeah, dude. Yeah, go roll it up. Roll up your story. We'll uh, we'll uh, uh, take a puff. Fi- figure it's figuratively smoke your story first. <laughs> puff, puff, pass here. Jonas, you're allowed to use uh, some some uh, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> Jonas. Yes, sir. Edge innovations. Edge innovations. Yes. Is that like Edge from the wrestling? Absolutely not. Okay. Edge Innovations is a robotics company. Okay. There's some of those out there. Recently. They unveiled an animatronic dolphin that looks so real that it fools people when they are swimming in the water next to it. Oh, wow. That realistic. So they could, like, load them bitches up with, like, explosives and, like, use them for war weapons, right? Because, like, people would just be like, oh, my God, there's we, dolphins. We're going to get there. All right? Oh, wow. Am I, we're def- I, we definitely were going to get there. Oh, damn. That so was, like, we, the first thing. <laughs> Of course, we're gonna get. We're gonna we're, let's okay. ramp it up. A that little was bit. like my. That was like, man, they could use. Right. Oh, where's my? Why is my brain so messed? Anyway, all right. So, Edge Innovation, edge, like they edge, literally look like a real dolphin. Yes, Edge Innovations animatronics. Uh, you can look at their website. They have a video up of like them having a dolphin interact with like children and elderly. So you'll have like a guy talking to the dolphin, and then the dolphin will be like, "Oh, that person over or, like, there, flip he's, water. Yeah, he's like, a special boy." Yeah. But the dolphin is really being controlled by a group of puppeteers. Oh, interesting. But it swims like it has like a legitimate exoskeleton that even mimics like real life dolphins. Yeah. Uh, they come equipped with a 10 hour battery life. 10 hours? That's a That's lot. That's a for, long time. For doing like all that animal stuff, dude. <laughs> <laughs> a doing a real animal, animal doesn't have 10 hour battery <laughs> life, dude. Like, I don't know if they can do like flips and shit. Right, but like, yeah, but yeah, I got it, you. They're it, not going to like be the SeaWorld dolphins. They're like yeah. jumping out of the water, dude. Yeah. <laughs> um, but they also are about forty to sixty million dollars per unit. Ooh, that's an expensive bomb. Yeah. So who's gonna afford something like that? <laughs> Nobody. Let's, let's get back to your thing, dude, that's The so military. Weird. That's so awesome that that's the first place my mind went. <laughs> so there's been like talks about like uh, Switzerland blames Russia or some other country blames another country for spying on them. Oh yeah, with there's dolphins. All, yeah, there's all sorts of like stuff about that. A sixty million dollar dolphin. You put a bomb in that some bee, go shoot up a a boat, a uh, North Korean U boat. Yeah, because it won't even seem like it's a a we- you know you won't even know it's a weapon coming. You'll just think it's a dolphin exactly. swimming in the water. And then you'd just be filled with delight. But like, oh my god, there's a dolphin oh coming! Oh my god, it's beautiful. <laughs> there's gonna be there's gonna be people just shooting dolphins in the water because they're gonna assume <laughs> no, that. Oh, <they're- laughs> Jonas, I don't want this to start. I don't want that to start either, dude. But it it does look like it could be the way things are going. And then I was thinking, like, well, look, these this this company has been making uh, animatronics for a long time, and like even like five, ten years ago, right, ten years back, like they were pretty convincing. Mm-hmm. And it's only getting better, right? Right. Absolutely. So, are they doing this with other animals? I don't want to get my humans? conspiracy hat on humans, Jonas. Yes, are they doing this with other animals? Like a bird? It would be so easy. They have drones that are highly mobile. Would it be so hard for them to put, you know, a bird on it, a robotic crow in there? Well, uh, crows I, are it's, huge. A, it's actually funny you mentioned that. I was going to mention that I saw online. There's an article that uh, some company I don't remember what the company is, but they, they're they've successfully made drones that are like. Basically, like, the size of, like, a small bird. So, like, if yep. they can figure out a way to, like, finagle, like, a bird exoskeleton on it, you would think it was a bird. You exactly. know what I mean? Like, so it's funny that you brought that up because they were literally – a guy was, like, holding it in his hand, and it was, like – it was, like, one of those mini helicopters you get, like, from the arcade you can win. Like, if you're really good at a game, and yeah. it's like, oh, remote control helicopter, and it's, like, the trashiest yeah, thing you ever like played those. with. It's, like, that size. The whole body is like the size of like a golf ball or maybe a little bigger. That's crazy. But they're like high end drones. You and then to get like a a camera onto that, no problem. Right, exactly. No problem. I mean, and it's probably made with like the cheapest plastic or so it's super light. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. it can fly and have a put a little battery in it, it can go forever because there's hardly any weight to it. And it just it just it kind of blows my mind when I thought about like this this innocent, like beautiful idea of 
let's not put so many living dolphins in our aquariums and water parks, but let's put these electron or these animatronic dolphins and they can interact with elderly people and help cancer patients. And then I immediately went where you went with it. <laughs> and I'm like, put a bomb in that bitch. And how? <laughs> Yeah, they're going to put bombs in these things. How many birds out there on that tree are actually real birds, and that's Jonas? The, uh, and that's actually a conspiracy theory. I know! Is that bir the bir that birds, birds aren't... Birds don't exist at all? <laughs> yeah, birds, are, birds are really fake. Birds aren't real <laughs> all together? No, it's something, something ridiculous like that. But I see where it comes from because you could easily disguise... Same. Dude, if you had... A, I mean, there's thousands and thousands of birds. Everywhere. Exactly. I'm not looking at every bird, checking under every bird's wing to right. make sure so it's not like a wearing a wire. Up on it, as long as it's not sitting there all day, and I'm like, why is there a crow like across from our apartment on top of the on top of the roof, just staring at our apartment, <laughs> just, just sparking and dangling? <laughs> yeah, right, like, <laughs> right. Like if you just like. You can't keep a mobile, kept moving around. Yeah, you know, exactly. Like, or kept it in a tree, like yeah. behind some leaves and some cover and just yeah, starts. Yeah, someone happened to look like, oh, a bird. And that would be it, dude. There's it's, a bird up there making a nest. He's got a little baby bird. He's going to, you know, worm and derm him, you know? tweet, tweet. Yeah, that's it, dude. And tweet. the thing is, is that we ain't doing shit. So I don't think they're necessarily looking at us. Oh, yeah, not at But worry. they have the technology. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's, it's like, I don't. It's like I care because I care about like invasion of privacy. I care about those sort of things, but I don't care because what what are they going to find out about me? What am I doing? That that's really all that important. You know Jonas, what I mean? It's that cavalier dismissive attitude that you're allowing them to get away with. Right, it. and that's the problem. It really is because <laughs> it's you know no, it's because, a problem because people. It, it isn't about what they can find out about you. It's the fact that like people they use fear tactics to like make people feel like that's okay. Like September 11th happens, terrible event. They come up with a Patriot Act. Great, in theory, use. But then what they start doing now that it's been out for 20 years, now they like have renewed it and finagled it and like they use it to spy on our own citizens and like yep. the purpose is always great. I was actually talking to someone about this the other day. I was like um, – because they were talking about like America in general and we were talking just about like the state of our country and like – and uh, I, and, I, and I said something along the lines of like where the ideals that our country was founded on were very pure and very like we were being oppressed by another country yeah, we was, wanted our freedoms we wanted this so like it's all defined and we a lot have, of religious based reasons right reasons. and we have fought hard to get to where we are today we've went through get breaking the oppression like that we we had a a rise up of in our own country that had like ideals of like slavery and whatever that were cool we had to like fight them got you know there's many many big events that we have fought through to get to where we are today but then people it's we're so far removed from that that a lot of people don't appreciate that. We take what we have for granted because we're America. You know what I mean? It's it's Well, I mean, there's still people protesting and I I I get what you're saying, but I mean, we molded the country until we wanted what we wanted to oh, be. Oh yeah, well where I was going with that is like it the problem that we have and this goes it fits in the patriot too is we design these things because we want to be a free country and everyone has rights to do what they want and we're not going to be oppressed and all this other shit. But all everyone has ever done is loophole the hell out of it. And when you take oh, a pure yeah. system and you loophole the shit out of it forever, it turns into a faulty system. Yeah. Because people should take it and use it for the positive and to keep this free. But instead, they're like, how can I use this to my advantage to get for personal gain? Constantly. Yeah. And then it idea, becomes a giant revolving. The idea of power corrupting and absolute power corrupting. Absolutely. Right. Now, I, I think that, like, wow, I, this was about dolphins. Yeah. But I do think that our government is very, very flawed. I think that it's not enough transparency right? because like when they pass a law or a amendment or any type of legislation, it goes straight into like stereo instructions or like, uh, like terms and agreements before you click well, on yeah. an app. Well, and the thing with that, they write these big giant bills that are based on one thing, but then they throw all a bunch of little shit in there. Exactly. And they don't. It's, it's like, oh, hey, this bill's about the schools, but then in there somehow they can, like, monitor our phones. And they're yeah, like, yeah, yeah. what does this have to do with this? And then they're like 800 pages. And that's what I'm saying. It's just like when you used to be able to click on an app and they just had legislation that said that you can't 
have these long uh, TOS as, sign as, in. as simple as it can be. Like, and yet they're doing the same thing. They're employing right. the same tactics. Right. It's like, what can they fit in? And it's like, it's the same mindset that people have with those terms of service. It's like, well, somebody would have found it out and talked about it by now. Yeah. Uh-huh. So it's like, yeah. And I feel it's, 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 and it's just the system has grown like that. Yep. And it's, it's sad because, you know, and I hate to be like, so use the old term, but like, if you think about, if you go back to the people who founded our country, if they, if they like saw the things that some of the people in our government are doing today, they would be absolutely appalled. Do you think? I do. Because the whole purpose of them writing the, the, the Declaration of Independence and the Bill of Rights. Which is one page. Right. <laughs> but, one page but, and it goes for the entire country. Right. But it's like, <laughs> that, those were like some very basic freedoms. Exactly. And, and then to see how people have taken that and, and how we've really added cool. on. We've added on some very good shit since then. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. But then to see all, like from there all the little bullshit that's like being taken advantage of. You know what I mean? Like it would just be like. It's like imagine if you like created a company, to, like a, a nonprofit company to help people, and then like you you die, and like the person who takes over, like yeah, you you still help people, but like now it's for profit, and now you like do, and like if you like were to come back to life and be like, this is what you turned my fucking company into, dude. Like what the fuck? This is not what yeah. it was meant to be. Yeah. Like you know, it's that sort of thing we're, we're not that i mean we still have those basic freedoms and not even to say that the forefathers would agree with this one but it, it also illuminates uh the priorities because we have all of these things in place for safety and for acclimation of uh of funds right but yet just this year homosexual people could not be fired from their job because of their sexual orientation up until yeah up until this year this yeah. year Right. This within the last month. Yeah. <laughs> That's nuts to me. Yeah. Like, nuts. I, yeah, and then I think we both talked about this. Like, you, I think we both kind of looked at each other and said, like, you could have been fired for being gay and that was all right. Like, yes. <laughs> I, like, heard, I didn't realize dude, that. Dude, I've talked to a, 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 a gay person and they were like, yeah, that's a thing. And it's bullshit. And I was like, why is nobody out? Why wasn't this changed like 10 years ago? Right. Didn't right. Little Richard do anything? <laughs> Little Richard. <laughs> what did he but do? Yeah, it's like, it's, um, it, yeah, it's, you know, in it, and in the, in the, in the crazy problem is, is like, I could see, like, right now, I don't see anything, any major change happening for probably a good 20 to 30 years. Yeah. But, I feel like as this this these I, I feel like the last of like the old school rich old man types are it's like they're all getting really old. You know what I mean? They're starting to get 60s, 70s, 80s. So as these these old like old type powerful businessmen start dying off over the next two to two, three decades and people from our lifetime start to get into that older man, older woman stages, the government's more accepting of people yeah. of color, women being yeah. in office. So there will yeah. be, and as, as these people grow and build new communities based on their government in 20 to 30 years, there'll be enough of a diverse and new mindset crowd in government to actually force change. But right now there's so many old school people that are in there until they die because of like Senate rules. And you know, like we have a presidency rule. You can have two terms, but a Senator can be once you're there until you get voted yeah. out, you're good. So if you're like, you've been a, that's, that's a flaw, a right? Flaw you're a, system. you're a 75 year old dude from fucking Alabama. Who's been in the Senate since you were 30 yeah. until you die or they vote you out. You you got your mark in government. Uh, yeah, I kind of, I kind of always, feel like there needs to be more of a revolving. Oh, dude, on that I stuff. have always even as a kid, like learning about government in school. I was like, wait, senators can be there forever, like forty years. Like that's no, dude. Give them give them the same years, like because they only do every two years. So a president can have eight years. Give a senator eight. They can have four terms, four two year terms. Then you're gone. You only get eight years to affect government, and then you're out. Yeah. You can move to something else. You can go from the Senate to the House or from whatever, but you can only hold one job in government yeah. for eight years, and then you're done. Eventually, you get stale. You get complacent. You right. become Putin. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you Putin the whole thing right. up and that's, and that's the And that is, I think, it's like a monopoly. 
It's like because once you're there so long, you just you 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 take your your abilities for granted. I do like the idea that as new blood does get into some of these uh, these positions and into government, that it is going to kind of dilute some of the uh, early intolerances that. But we've it's going to take like, a long time. But Jonas, how long do you think it's going to take until we have a president with a face tat? <laughs> With a little, little always tired under the eye, maybe uh, <laughs> <laughs> a couple Z's going down his cheek or something. Pre President Lil, Lil Tired Eyes. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> little, I think we got a long way to go before someone gets sleepy. elected with a face tat, dude. <laughs> I'm a little sleepy, and I want to. I be mean, your we president. can barely not get seventy year old white dudes in office. Let's work on getting those dudes out first, and then we'll work on face tats. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, Jones. I'd probably vote for a face tat president. Well, depending on what it said. What do you mean? If, if it was like a penis on their face, Wait, or if it was like they had loyalty and old English tattoo yeah. across their forehead, dude. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> there's some loyal boys, dude. <laughs> he means it. Yeah, he dude. was like, in this loyalty, this is for my country. Yeah. I'm so, I don't know why I gave him that accent. <laughs> but, I don't know yeah. why. Or if it was just like, if he had America tattooed like on the side of his Yo, head, dude. The, the American flag, dude, yeah. on the side of his head. He was like, listen, would I do this if I didn't love this country? I'd be like, like, fuck a, yeah. Had a BL, BLM fist on his cheek. <laughs> yeah, <You're laughs> right. But uh, yeah, dude, I, but I think... But but I have, Yo, but I do have I hope that in the, like twenty years oh, yeah, 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 that yeah. there'll be because I mean you're you're starting to get way more females involved, way more mm -hmm. especially females that are people of color on top of it, like and then you're get it's great I love it you're getting younger people in there you're getting it it's it takes a long time to work an old system out. Oh yeah, I mean it's it's been some years though. Yeah, <laughs> so we, yeah, we're working but, on it, but. But I think the only thing we have in our favor is that mindsets in general in the world over the last 20 years have gotten more progressive. Like as far as like gay marriage and women's rights and, you know, all that sort of stuff. It started to it's really picked up in the last 20 years. Yeah, so, I think I think like the, the biggest shame is that it's not like 100 percent altruistic, though. It's, right. it's strictly because it, it's affecting money. Yeah. Yeah. But I think that children growing up in a time where gay oh, rights yeah, yeah, and all that yeah, are normalized yeah, 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 yeah. when they become adults they're just like what do you mean why wouldn't i give a gay yeah. dude the same rights as a, anybody else you absolutely know? it's us shaping shaping our our community into what we want it to be right but the the notions the ideals are not being adopted unless it affects their fiduciary right. grains right, right so it's all money based oh right now absolutely it's, I mean, but it's, I, feel I feel like, like as, it's, it's always going to be that way. But I feel like way. as these kids who are like 10 years old now become 30-year-old yeah. adults, they'll have more of a mindset. Because, like, dude, even when we were children, it people were still making fun of gay people. People were still – it was not accepted. And Yo, we grew up in a time – We grew up on making fun right, of people right, for right, that. Right. We were, the, but, we were the generation that started calling people gay. Yeah, right. I feel like well, it. I mean, who knows exactly. <clears throat> but, you know, it's like – it's just like our grandparents lived in a time where, like, there was – Making oh, fun yeah. of races were okay. You oh, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now you're getting to a point where these children are seeing like trans and ho and, uh, and gays and everything. Like people being like, that's not everyone's the same. Be so like when they grow older, yeah, they won't have you they know they won't those. have the mindset of like it's okay. Grandpa's from a different time. You they, know what I mean? They <laughs> accept be. those ideals, but so I still be, I still wish that it didn't take so much protesting i wish that it didn't take for us to basically be outraged in order to get some of these just like basic dignity changes yeah. added because our government is a hundred percent money driven right. democrat republican money driven we right. got to get money into this country to keep things running the way that it runs so that you people don't go crazy right right but, but um, it, it's never just man we should really just not make it so that gay people can be fired for being gay. Right, exactly. Like, like gay people couldn't even get married till like however long ago, five years ago or whatever. Just, but um, I read an article today, real quick, while I was looking at stuff. It, it said like, you know, what the article said was like, so some along the lines of like, Amer America is in chaos on its fourth on its Independence Day, but it's it's a great time to be an American. And what the article said yeah. was that, you know. All of these major hurdles that we've that we've uh, encompassed over our life, uh, not our life, but like our parents, like um, the end of segregation, women getting the right to vote, 
all those different things mm. have had major movements behind the even the Boston Tea Party. <laughs> yeah, was, you know, it, it takes these sort of movements to make these sort of changes to happen. Which I want to let everybody know, Boston Tea Party that was a lot of vandalism. Right. Suck my dick. Yeah, you were they were throwing product into the river. They how that, how much tea did What do you think that was? Monetary <laughs> value did they destroy of tea? Guess what? Right. They didn't have AutoZone back then. Right. Exactly. <laughs> they had Tetley's. Right. So they got <laughs> rid of that. <laughs> they had Lipton, yeah. But it's like so it's like um yeah, our country's go like we, we're very divided by by, you know, our uh, our president. He he divides people by his belief, but people who do and do not support him. The pandemic mask, no mask, the Black Lives Matter movement. There's all these very divisive things going on in our country right now. But when things get to the hottest boiling point is when the change actually happens. So I had one more point to talk about, but we're at time, so I'll talk about it on the next episode because it, it, it's relevant regardless to this or not. I just think it's great that we have the ability to see all of these things happening due to the internet and social media, even though social media is Satan and yep. that, and that the kids they're watching this shit because they should be interested and they are our future mm-hmm. very, very soon. And it's a, some it's, of these it, ideals. I hate, I hate when I hear people say, <laughs> you know, you got to take care of the kids cause it's, they're our future, but it's, it, but it's true. It really is. True. Yeah, man. And it's pushing these it. ideas into our children will only help change our country. Motherfuckers been talking shit about millennials, man. Millennials out here making a difference, turning the world into what's important <laughs> to them. So when you're old ass who doesn't like the idea, I don't, I don't care for it. You, you're going to die. Shut right. up. Right. Well, well, yeah. And it's the thing is like, um, and, it's that's, gonna, it's their and world. that's been a lot of the biggest uh, complaints from millennials is like, it's like these old old ass old school people aren't setting a world up for us to have a good world when we become exactly. old. they'll be gone and we'll be 40 like what the hell happened to- they've already had to live through the 2008 financial crisis and then now a pandemic exactly. like so like they've had two of the worst events oh, ever yeah but you had to walk to school uphill both ways right. in the snow exactly. suck my dick you know what i'm gonna stop saying that too but, but yes absolutely the world is never going to go back to what it was when you were 25, Herschel, all right? Right, yeah. I mean, the world never went back to the way it was before 9-11. It never and went back to just, the way when I was 25. Right. It's not going back there. It, we're going to progress. Like the, I wish the world was like it was when I was 25. Because, like, all those events changed the world forever. September 11th, the world was changed forever. Yeah. The, the 2008 financial crisis, world was changed forever. This right? pandemic, going to change the world forever. Like, the Avenger movies yeah, changed, changed the, the fucking world. world. <laughs> so. Every single one of them. Yeah, exactly. All so. right, John. But all right, man. That is all the time we have for today's episode of Crazy Town's America the Beautiful special. Dolphins. <laughs> dolphins. Go look up go look at the dolphins. <laughs> yeah, right. Start with dolphins, which are majestic as fuck. Yeah. And then we got into the bag about America. <laughs> it's a palate cleanse. I'm so, telling right, you. Exactly. It's a, so, wholesome uh, dolphins. Yeah. So please make sure to like and subscribe. This guy's on Twitch. TNT Dynamite on Twitch every single day, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock Central. TNT D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T underscore Crazy Town. Sweat all over my neck. Get your day started off right with some dynamite in your life. For Jonas. TNT. We'll catch you on the next one. We are. Reap. Oh, t-